there's a raster equivalent or similar which is a Euclidean distance there are different types of distances in the raster we'll talk about that in a moment and um, what this one does it just calculates the distance and direction to the nearest and this is very important not no data raster cell or a vector feature so it's important that if you are working with raster input data in my case I'll be working with vectors the stations so there's no problem there but if you're working with raster inputs here all apart from your destination have to be no data so and what the tool does it takes our destination it will create a new raster layer we can specify a maximum distance to work with we won't do that it, we can specify a raster cell size and we can specify a um, direction layer this is optional so but it can also give us the direction because it has to do the direction calculation anyway to do um, the distance so you might as well have it included so if we now go to our layer here I'll just turn off all my addresses because it does not relate to the addresses as such it relates to any location so I'll turn off my addresses here and because I'll be doing lots of um, different calculations throughout uh, this video says I might as well go in and set my uh, environment so that my data automatically will be stored in my raster thing here so I'll just go up and take my distance demo so that's where I want to store my results by default I just send the, the scratch to the same I'll set my processing extent to be the same as all my addresses so it will be the same as addresses so I'll cover all my addresses um, and I will set my cell size also which is under raster analysis cell size and I'll set that as specified below to 10 so whenever I do anything in the following my raster cells will be 10 by 10 meters so this so I don't have to worry about setting that right as I go along so I have now set my environment and I can now demonstrate how to do use that as raster tool so back into our here I'll create a new model and in this model I'll be needing my raster tool so that's down not on the proximity these are the vector tools but it's on the spatial analyst and down on the distance and you can here see that there are both what's called cost we'll cover them later there's path which is basically a advanced cost version that takes in uh, vertical movements also and then we have this Euclidean so I just use my Euclidean and I have this distance there is also a Euclidean direction but it's a bit foolish because the Euclidean distance also calculates the direction so that is one of these more or less redundant tools um, and I will then do the distance to my train station or take them from the table of contents so my train stations and pull that in as my input and basically my tool is ready to run I have here my where I'm going to I have not given any maximum and the cell size is going to be 10 and I might as well just set my uh, output to be my distance 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 there and I'll just call it uh, train or station station dist direction so and this other name here 
I don't really like it. Maybe I'll just make sure that this tool here is stored in my and called station station direction. I prefer using TIFF files as my output, so um, like that, and I can then run my tool. So what it will do, it is for the area covered by all my addresses, it will calculate a 10 by 10 meter raster layer, that or two, one indicating the distance to, uh, I call it distance, not direction, no? distance to the station and the direction to the station. So off goes the tool. And again here, it doesn't take long, so I'll just add them to my display. So we've got, I'll save my model and close it for, yeah, yeah. So we have this one that says which way to go. So all the dark reds say go north. If I have my stations here, you can see that they are north of these red ones and they are south of these blue ones. So these give the directions. Um, again here, the cells have a direction just like uh, in um, the aspect tool. This are classified directions. So the individual cell has a value between zero and 360, but these are just displayed as categories here. And also I here I have my distance, so we can see the distance to our individual stations. And if I have add my addresses, we can see how this influences how our addresses are located according to these um, distances. So this is basically the same and if I um, use my eye tool and uh, click on one of these addresses here I will find that I have a this all layers, thank you. So I'll just click on let's take this one down here. So I have now found a address which has a distance of 1700 in my and this is uh, if I look at my direction down here it will have the same it will have a pixel value of sorry not that one that one down here 1700 which was the same as my distance there so they have luckily got the same distance 1700 and 1700 here almost the same um, and our direction so this first said I had to go in a direction of 160 and this one says I had to go at a direction of 300 and seven 37. Um, the difference is how they calculate the direction. That's a bit of that why I had to change the direction tool up here to show the correct directions. So we have the same type of data in both our layers, and um, we can. So that's those two tools are comparable. They do not give exactly the exact same results because they have somewhat different concepts but they are the, carry the same information so simple distances we can use the near tool if we want to do take some rasters or sorry some vectors and calculate their distance and direction to objects or we can use the Euclidean distance with the optional direction to do the same as a raster layer. Of course the advantages of the raster layer is that we get them for any location while we for the vector layer only get them for the existing addresses.